Sumi's prayers of the near and far. The 60-foot redwoods flounce their branches in light rain and wind. A few miles further up the hill, snow is falling. It is sustenance for the entire year. Rivers, creeks, and brooks flow down the icy snowmelt to the waiting valleys. It is a realm of reservoirs and their tributaries. So is scripture a realm of redemption and revelation. We have come to know your salvation. The purpose of Christ come to earth, the purpose of the creation and history of the world. There is no great cloud of truth wandering through the cosmos, sending down rays of spiritual light. Separated from you and its relation to you, it cannot communicate any light to our souls. It is only by scripture that the mind is irradiated with heavenly truth. The source of this light is the sun, S-U-N, of righteousness, the blessed spring of all spiritual light, which is the sun, S-O-N, of God, you yourself. We are to be made like unto you by means of this perfect plan and process. Our sin to be mortified, to be killed, our nature renovated, our minds, hearts, and feelings sanctified, the only consolation to our souls. We are edified into all parts of your life. You have designed by the revelation of your truth to build us up and give us an inheritance among all that are sanctified. It is from our own lives we falter, some accidental. The who I know of myself can disappear like vapor and in its place an unreachable wound which bleeds over reason, bleeds over hope, comes red in despair. The red is deep like unto blackness. It surrounds and moves ahead of each day, swallowing smile and a brightness of eye and a willingness to be among people, especially that some events recur hundreds of times with mysterious power. Into their spiral empty dozens of days. If we thought there to be lives in other galaxies, it is this personae, temporarily displaced to the underworld lying over us. Inhabiting this place are goats and snakes, dragons, wild dogs, and we persons moved out of our lives and into a blackness where no thought holds and the Lord is not seen. Truly the goats do cover the hillsides even now. Bleat, bleat, and in retreat from all that was good set before them. You were to be our sole sufficiency in life. And when we crowded you out, we trotted into clusters of our own kind. And there appeared a hierarchy in which we took confidence that we had risen higher in the world. A man does not invite such dark galaxies, but that they appear must be supposed to be presented by you for some purpose. Are not all events of the high and low, of the near and far, of the Lord and of your perfection? It is ourselves obscure the meaning of events, even of childhood trauma, even of undiscovered particulars, which stab into the heart of a man. What say you, for we have wisdom upon all events? You have. We have leapt too high to try to find consolation in the Father or your spirit. It is to the Son we must go. The man who came among us spoke our language, lived our life. We are to give distinct honor to the person of the Son, whose oneness is with you and with us. Not only are we to rise in obedience through the Spirit to the Father, as was the whole life of Jesus. It is to this intent, ours is to be eternal life given to us by you, and this life is in the Son. It is opposite to a far and dark galaxy. It is here and filled with light. He that has the Son has life, and he that has not the Son has not life. You too came out from your Egypt, came out from your wilderness, passed over into life. Let these dark moments be the harbinger of the fullness of life, 
which came to you and through you unto us. Amen.